Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm uh, going to quickly demonstrate for you how to find data for your map using uh, OSM plugin for QGIS. I'm running version 3.10, so let's get started. Let's open this up. Now, I don't know when you're going to be seeing this video. You might be seeing this video could be some years from now, but I hope what I'm showing you is still valid in future versions of QGIS. So here we have the software open, QGIS. And let's get started quickly. Uh, I like to use Google Roadmaps. This is uh, Google Roadmaps right here. It's uh, Vicort, that's Danish for roadmap. So let's double click that. And here's a map. And let's uh, zoom in on the map. Have you ever been to Tim Hortons? It's a coffee shop. It's a really popular coffee shop. Started in Canada. And uh, let's demonstrate how we can find all of the Tim Hortons coffee shops in Toronto. So what we want to do here, we're going to do this using something called the Quick OSM plugin. Now the Quick OSM plugin is managed through your QGIS plugins console. And there it is, right there. I'm not going to show you how to install it. That's something for another lesson. But there it is, Q Quick OSM. So what we need to do is we need to identify the data we're looking for. And the quick way to do that is let's zoom in really tight, really close on downtown Toronto. Really tight, really close, really tight in there. There we go. And let's wait for the map to kind of refresh a little bit here. There we go. Now we got some detail. It takes a little while to kind of get the map to react and to actually show the level of detail you want. It could be a little sluggish in responding. But here we go. Here we have a Tim Hortons right there. And what we would like to do is identify that Tim Hortons. Now we're only looking, right now, we're only looking at a cosmetic map. This is a pretty attractive map, but there is no data on this map. There's not actually any data that we can use to do any kind of analysis or constructive work. It's just a, a drawn map. So we need to get the data for Tim Hortons. And we can do that using Quick OSM. Now what we're going to do first is just get a sample and then identify uh, what data we're looking in for later here more quickly clearly. So let's just start with a quick query. We're going to query everything, all keys and all values, but we're going to pick only the canvas extent. And what that means is only the piece of the map that we can see right now. This will shorten, this will speed up. This will speed up the data download. So we're going to run that. And there we're done. Successful query. Four layers downloaded. So we're, we're good. I'm going to close this window. And here we go. We have some data. Now look over here on the left. We have different types of data. And we have this little symbol here. It kind of looks like a little bug, maybe like a little cockroach or something. It means this data is only in memory. It has not been saved to disk. So be careful until you save this to disk. Uh, this data is uh, temporary. Now, this data here is uh, the background colors, the, the uh, background colors of things. It's not really important to us right now, so let's turn it off. And now we see some other data. We see uh, lots of lines. These could be railway lines or streetcar lines or different kinds of transport lines or things. Don't need that right now, so turn that off. And then we have another set of lines. These could be property lines, barriers, borders, things like that. Don't need that now either. So let's turn that off. And now we are left with points, lots and lots of points. And let's see what's on those points. So highlight, this is important. Highlight the points, highlight this row over here. That's important. Highlight the row. And then let's choose the information 
pointer, information uh, cursor. And now when we click on things, we'll get information. So like, what is this? It is a pastry house. Oh my goodness, the Danish pastry house. What are the chances? Look at that. All right, and let's try another one. What's this? That is, it says node. Well, that was very helpful. What? It is an entrance. Yes, it is an entrance. It's on the zero level, on the ground level. And that's, that's what we know. And try one more. What is, what is this? That is a public transport stop position. It has a name. But finally, we're interested in Tim Hortons. Let's get closer in here to Tim Hortons. What's this? Canada Post. That is not Tim Hortons. We're not interested in that one. Let's try another one. Tim Hortons. Look at that. What are the chances? Here we go. Name Tim Hortons. And that's what we're looking for. And it is a cafe. And it is the address. It is a coffee shop. There's a phone number. But we want all of the Tim Hortons. So now we know what we're looking for. Name Tim Hortons. So let's go back and do that. So let's turn this layer off. Get the hand back. Turn this layer off. And now let's zoom out. Let's zoom out. More, more. There we go. That's probably too much. A little bit too much. That's better. Okay, and let's move this around. So this is Toronto. There's a good, that's, yeah, I think most people agree this is kind of the boundary. Hamilton, Barrie, Coburg, that's maybe Belleville, I don't know. But this is pretty close to the Toronto metro area. So now we want all the Tim Hortons here in the Toronto metro area. So we're going to go back up again. Vector, quick OSM, quick OSM, whoop, vector, quick OSM, quick OSM. But now, this time, we don't want everything. Now we just want Tim Hortons. We want name. And we want Tim Hortons. Now it's important. This is important. This has to be exactly correct. So it also has to be case sensitive. So this is not work. That is not correct. That is wrong. Tim Hortons with a lowercase h is wrong. So it has to be uppercase. Tim Hortons. And again, canvas extent. We want only within the space on the map that we're looking at right now. And since we turned off all those things, let's go down here to advanced, advanced. We don't really care about the polygons. We turn that off. We don't care about this. We turn that off. We don't care about the lines. We turn that off. We only want the points. So let's just limit our data only to the points. And now we're ready. Now we're ready. Let's run that. There it is. We're done. We've got it. Close the window. And there we have it. We have all the Tim Hortons in Canada, in uh, Toronto, Canada. And I'm going to highlight that row and I'm going to turn on the information pointer and just check it. And look, there's a Tim Hortons. If you want to go up to the lake, there's a Tim Hortons. If you want to come down here to Niagara Falls, oh, there's a Tim Hortons. If you want to go to Peterborough, there's a Tim Hortons. If you want to go to Belleville, there's a Tim Hortons. And there's lots and lots of Tim Hortons in here. Lots of Tim Hortons. It's too many, too many to count, it looks like. So uh, let's go in a little deeper. And even deeper yet. And there we are. I can't remember exactly where we were, but I think this was it right there. I think this one was the Tim Hortons we were looking at earlier. I'm not sure. We're, I, I've forgotten my, my references here. Let's come in a little bit closer. There it is. There's our Tim Hortons right there. And there's two dots close together. It could be that they are related. Sometimes the entrances 
Oh, see, it says take away. Oh, sometimes the entrances are counted separately. But anyway, that's how you do it. That's how you get that data. That's how we can get data from QuickOSM to a selected choice very quickly, easily in QGIS. Thank you so much. Great to be with you again, and we'll see you again in the future.